What exactly is he talking about? Tick tock! It's time for me to make an appearance! Quacky? Uh, I can also see him. Is this character part of the show? In Dreamville, Clocky is everywhere and can do anything! Like right now! I can be your translator! Tick tock! <laughs> Hanu says, Battle! We must do battle! <laughs> And we have no path of retreat for the future of Dreamville! <laughs> Touch that suspicious looking TV right now! So they just jumped inside that TV. Sheesh. Logic in this plot and dialogue is really being pushed to its limits. Again. Ready? I am gradually getting used to this. Huh. Who knows? I might even be able to perform some high level moves with Hanu. No, oh, did someone say high-level movies just now? <laughs> That's right, pal. The upcoming script is just exploding with all sorts of high-level shenanigans. Last we saw, Hanu was preparing for battle. Suddenly, he hears heavy footsteps coming from the hallway. The mischief makers have broken into his home. But brave Hanu won't go down without a fight. He instantly sprints for the storage room, ready for a do-or-die showdown against the baddies. But... we still don't have any weapons in hand. Guess what? Hanu's favorite bazooka just so happens to be in that storage room. <laughs> so get a move on. <sighs> what a coincidentally convenient plot twist. It'd be even more awesome if the organizers allowed me to wear armor. The storage room. It's behind the shelves, right? a bazooka here. <laughs> now we should have a way of dealing with those baddies. This thing feels just like the soaring locust too.
here we go again. But no big deal. We're pretty handy with this bazooka now. All of them, right? Oh my! Oh, he's on a string! Everyone! The stage is complete! Quickly! Head through the TV to the next stage! This bazooka. Um. Never mind. <laughs> Let's hurry over to the next stage. Great. The more, the better. Congratulations to both of you! Oh, you've overcome all obstacles and proven yourselves! But, uh, unfortunately, there is only one who can be Pentacone's festive superstar. In the final stage, you will face the defending champion. If you fail, you will lose the opportunity to become the festive superstar. Welcome to the 33rd Scorch Sand Festival's third stage in the 20th season, sponsored by Soul Glad Enterprises Superstar Showdown. Thank you. 
broken sword. No way, I... I think I just saw someone. Someone extraordinary. Will of preservation! Is that all? Please wait! Handsome gentleman, beautiful miss. <gasps> By the glorious light of beauty! I never thought I would see you again. In such turbulent times, your kind faces are as spring's gentle breeze, bringing solace to my scorched heart. Uh, are you... a knight of beauty? Upon hearing of the impending festivities, I commanded the one and only to bring me to Panacone with full haste. Alas, in a cosmos unguarded by the beauty, disorder prevails. Thus my passage was delayed by tending to the sick and injured. Fortunately, the mini rabbit mech pilot, stray cat duelist, galactic ninja, and quad drive Teletron, along with 32 other souls in distress, all emerged from their predicaments safe and sound. I then led them all here to revel in the harmony with the countless other splendid beings. I do not deserve such praise. Unfortunately, that dashing IPC ambassador, whose radiance matches that of a beautiful peacock, remains in a woeful state. Ugh, how I wish he too could partake in this splendid occasion. Okay, let's get back to business. Since fate has brought us together, it stands to reason that you both seek the accolade of the audition's victor, correct? Though upon arrival I was once mistaken for a towering silver-armored fugitive with fiery red flames due to my lack of eloquence. It matters not, for all these trials stem from the land of the dream's beauty. What matters is that I now stand before you. Our paths have crossed. I... Argenti of the Knights of Beauty, am humbly requesting a battle with you both, in the name of the Code of Chivalry! If I am fortunate enough to emerge victorious, kindly grant me passage to the Crown of Victory, and recognize that... Idrilla, the beauty, is the most peerless beauty of them all! Dear friends, please ready yourselves for this trial set forth by the beauty. What surprises do you hold the fight is set? Stand down and I'll spare you. Rise to the challenge. Let the duel commence. My gallant friend, put forth all your scratch. Lance ablaze. Claiming lance. Forward! Fleeting light, roaring flood. A blade of moonlight. All will be revealed. In lunar flame! Rise to the challenge! <laughs> Fail to send you! Rise to the challenge! Fracture! Loyalty. Gotta stop the bleeding. Excuse me, coming Rise through. to the job. Behold, the symbol of pure beauty. <laughs> you impede me. Make good the loss. That paradise may be unresavor it in my place. <laughs> Rise to the 
ultimate challenge. Ready for... <laughs> I will dispatch you by my speed. I'm on guard. Rise to the challenge. Confess. You can't kill me. To travel far away. <laughs> For a tough case like yours, we're gonna try them all! Unnecessary. Unnecessary. <laughs> My gallant friend, put forth all your might. I think something bit me. Fail. Descend you. <laughs> Be revealed in lunar flame. Nowhere to <laughs> rise to the challenge. Your end approaches. Lance at the ready. Are fighting a gentleman, my gallant friend. Put forth all your <clears throat> might. Fail to send you the flesh wound. Uh. Time for something savory. Save it for your own skin. <laughs> 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 Your convictions, my friends, are indeed on. It's a cool The laurels of victory belong to a driller. Knows no mercy. Make good the loss of flesh wound. I'm on guard. Defend the weak. You're fighting a gentleman. My gallant friend. Put forth all your might. Harder. <sighs> Target specimen sighted. Preparing for us. Deep breaths. Save it for your own skin. Lance ablaze. Flaming lance. Forward! You can't kill me. Fail to send you. To travel far away. <laughs> For a tough case like yours, we're gonna try them all! <laughs> nice teamwork. Bear witness. To honor! Let the duel commence. Confess! 
gallant friend. Put forth all your <laughs> might. <laughs> Fleeting light, roaring flood. A blade of moonlight. All will be revealed. In lunar flame! Nowhere to run! Rise to the challenge! I will dispatch you by my sword. <laughs> Lance at the ready. Indestructible. You're fighting a gentleman. My gallant friend. Put forth all your might. I think something's well easy. Well-timed. <laughs> On defend the weak. Behold the symbol of pure beauty. Let the duel commence. Rise for the challenge. Lance ablaze. Flaming lance. Forward. Uh. A blade's edge knows no mercy. Excuse me, coming through. Lance at the ready. To travel far away. <laughs> For a tough case like yours, we're gonna try them all! Unnecessary. Pledge thy loyalty. My gallant friend, put forth all your might. Tedious. I will do the fight. Is set. Make good the loss. Target specimen slot. Time for something savory. Save it for your own skin. I'm on guard. Fracture! Uh -huh. Rise to the challenge. You're fighting a gentleman. My gallant friend. Put forth all uh, your fight. I think something bit me. Lance ablaze. Flaming lance. Forward! Rise to the challenge. Fleeting light, roaring uh. flood. A blade of moonlight. All will be revealed. In lunar flame. Let <laughs> A blade's edge. Lance at the ready. Commencing research. Bear witness. Oh! Let the duel commence. Ready for death. <laughs> That's enough! I have come to grasp the sincerity of your cause. I yield. Beautiful! Truly a captivating contest! It is through you that I realize to uphold the honor of Adrilla. I must further hone my skills. What a beautiful lesson indeed! Go forth, my dear friend.
beautiful miss. The audition's crown is yours to claim. I shall remain here, gazing from afar as you bask in the limelight, joining the audience in offering you the most heartfelt cheers and applause. We don't have much time. May fate allow us to meet again, Knight of Beauty. In that case, let's make our way to the end. Panacone's really thronging with talent. I hope we make it in time. Go forth. The champion stage belongs to the both of you. Bask in the glory you deserve. Congratulations to the both of you on becoming the festive superstars of this year's Charmony Festival before entering the Grand Theater. I, on behalf of the organizers, extend my sincere congratulations to you, wishing you joy under their radiance. As previously promised, my sister, Mr. Yang, and I have met with the Dream Master. We delved into the truth about Penacone and its Stellaron, and have come to a consensus. Both I and the Oak family cannot acquiesce to your request. <sighs> Just as expected. We acknowledge the perspective of you, Nameless. Panacone does require change, but not as you propose. The planet of festivities cannot and will not revert to a place characterized by chaos, disorder, or anarchy. Through your journey of overcoming obstacles, you must have glimpsed the essence of that era. The vulnerable ruthlessly eliminated, Equality non-existent. Common folk living precarious lives, eking out a dreary existence. Ultimately, only heroes like yourselves manage to achieve success. But I would dare ask, if you did not possess the special status of having a Stellaron, and you were but an anonymous and frail member among the masses, which Penacone would you prefer? A dystopia for the survival of the fittest? Or a sweet dream paradise for all? Sunday, even
Even if the members of the Oak family can't fully agree on what to do about the Stellaron, now's not exactly the time to be holding an extensive discourse about Peniconi's past and future, is it? The Stellaron issue concerns the life and death of everyone on Peniconi. If anyone has a better suggestion, the crew is more than willing to listen. Also, it'd be best to tell us the ins and outs of that meeting. This way, we'll at least know what Welt and Miss Robin are dealing with, and the reason why they failed to make our appointment. Ah, Navigator. That is precisely my intention. With all present, let's begin by discussing the details of that meeting. Let's talk about our tribulations and choices, our ideals and beliefs, and our final course of action. The only path to take.